Hey guys, welcome to day 148 of my carnivore journey. We are almost at the six month mark. And in two days, Wednesday, we are going to be weighing in. So uh, we're going to weigh in and we're going to do measurements. And we're going to talk about where we're at with everything. And I mean, I'm pretty excited. So guys, I want to talk to you about a few things today real quick. One, I just want to follow up from yesterday when I was talking about food fatigue. Guys, don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't mind variety every once in a while. But what I was trying to get across to you guys, hopefully, was that I don't want you to stress thinking that that's all that's going to drive you in the future. The further you go into this journey the less need you have for a variety of foods. Um, again, within that carnivore lane, I do like to change things up. And like I said, you know, occasionally I have a carnivore pizza or uh, occasionally like today I did a beef and egg scramble. You know, I haven't done that in a really long time. So, uh, but let's get into that. So guys, check this out. I took a picture. I didn't, didn't take a picture on my plate this time. I took a picture of here. So now you can see I did it in the pan. Now, what I did was real simple. I know, again, I know you guys want me to do new content. I, I mean, not new content, but I know you guys want some extra videos and things. We're getting there. We're getting there. I said, I'm getting settled in. And so don't get me wrong. In fact, you can't see it. It's off camera, but there's a tripod that I've got sitting in the kitchen. So I'm going to be able to start filming that real soon uh some different stuff so don't worry and i'm trying to also work out a few recipes too uh, because i don't want to just give you like i just tell you guys what i do and i also try to tell you whether it works or not <laughs> now tonight that um that beef and egg scramble well i really i don't want to do a lot of scrambled eggs nowadays um i'm really trying to keep the yolks runny if I can or as intact as possible because again this is where you really thrive on even more nutrients uh, in those egg yolks now of course the whites gotta have them cooked now uh, in this particular deal what I did is I took a pound of the 80-20 grass-fed grass-finished uh, ground beef and I, I put it in the pan and I added uh, it is about a little over a half a cup of that broth from last night remember i had that sort of leftover like au jus if you will like that broth um well i you know saved the the two leftovers i have the other half the chuck roast which i'm gonna have tomorrow i'm gonna have leftovers tomorrow and then i have the beef broth uh also in another container so i took a little over half a cup and added that in into the ground beef and then of course ground it up uh did just like you do with ground beef i also added garlic and onion powder and salt um not a lot of salt because i knew that that broth um was had some good flavor but i added a little bit of salt you know and um fried that up and got it to where like you you end up it released a lot of that fat and liquid and so it was a lot of liquid but you want to keep cooking it until it actually starts almost kind of reabsorbing and you're sort of uh reducing and burning off some of that extra uh, water and stuff so i got it down i put it all onto a plate uh, like all that ground beef and i left the juice so i pretty much kind of like took out the meat sort of strained it out and left the juice in the pan which wasn't a lot um, and then I made my, I made six eggs over medium. Uh, and I didn't really worry about like whether I broke the yolks at the end or flipping them or whatever. But, uh, once I flipped them, I let the whites cook and then I tossed in the meat and I just, I just scrambled it up. I turned off the heat and just kind of scrambled it up, let that meat kind of warm back up a little bit and let those yolks break and be runny and mix in with some of that beef and uh man i gotta tell you though it it was good it was good it was really really good i really enjoyed it i don't think i was gonna have maybe some bacon with it and i was like nah you know this is a pretty good meal i didn't finish the whole pound of meat 
I ate almost all the egg out of there, and there was just like a little bit of um. So I would say you might as well just call it fourteen ounces of meat. So I probably had fourteen ounces of of ground beef, six eggs. Uh, and for lunch, I actually did have a lunch. I had two uh, Slim Jims, <laughs> uh, two meat sticks. Uh, yeah, so I had two Slim Jims, and they were just the, the, the just the regular mild ones. Um, you know, yeah, I know they're dirty, but hey, I, I needed something, and unfortunately, I wasn't near any good gas stations. The one gas station that has hard-boiled eggs, I was too far away it was in another another town at the time so uh the only thing i could really get was a couple slim gyms and that's what i did you know but it did the job uh so so yeah i wanted to finish up on that and then something also i wanted to talk about too with uh, the carnivore journey is listen guys for some of you that may be in the beginning maybe you're still you know, eating a mixed diet, you're trying to like ease into carnivore. Um, you're going to have to get right. Like you're going to have to get right with Jesus basically. Right. <laughs> like what they say, no, you're going to, you're seriously, you're going to have to like come to, come to a decision, like commit, you know, um, go for the 90 days. You know, when I, when I talk to people, I, I ran into, um, I ran into some people today. One of them I was talking to, and, and he's a he's a big boy, you know, and he's naturally like a big boy, you know. But still, I mean, um, he had a lot of excuses, you know. It's like, but a lot of times it's like, well, you know, I cut back on, on soda or, or pop, whatever you want to call it, soda or pop. Uh, it's like, oh, I cut back on pop, you know, and and uh, and ever since then I got a lot more energy and and the thing is is like that's good like i'm i'm glad but he's still drinking soda he's still even though he cut back you know he's still eating unhealthy and you know we talked about these things but um again you can't force people into this you can just try to point them in the right direction and um and it's tough. It's it really is tough. So I pointed him in the direction, but you know, again, you can't. Uh, what does it say? You, know, you can you can bring a horse to water, but you can't force it to drink, right? So, but for those of you that maybe you're watching this and maybe you're just like, God, I'm, I'm I really want to do this. I'm I'm watching the videos. I'm researching it, but I just can't seem to give up this stuff. I'm just telling you right now, guys. I was one of those people. I, t I even told him, I was like, I worshiped food, man. I loved food. And I've talked about this before on my channel. I loved food. I mean, if you would have told me six months ago, well, maybe not even six months ago. Let's just go back like five years ago. If you would have told me five years ago that I was going to be eating nothing but meat and eggs, uh, like beef, butter, bacon, and eggs, pretty much, I'd have been like, whatever you're like that's dumb i would not do that but then in the last two years i've been researching and stuff that's why i didn't want to go back before this before this because as you guys know i attempted it um uh, before but um you know with with my wife at the time you know we just couldn't see eye to eye and it was just too much of a battle so i i quit and then I started up November 27th again with determination. And now I'm living alone. <laughs> no, my carnivore diet did not cost me uh, my marriage. Um, but, I mean, you know, you do see, see things clear, you know, and um, you have a lot of revelations, that's for sure. But. I just wanted to cover that because I know, again, these are things that I, I hear all the time when I talk to people and some of the concerns that they have uh, with giving up things. And and it can be tough, but I just know that if I can do it, I know other people can do it. If you, you can give up those things, I'm telling you, you can give them up. Um, 
you know, I mean, if it's in the carnivore lane, look, I'm not going to stress about it. It's like coffee. You know, I, I don't, I'm not stressed about it. It's 50, 50. The experts are 50, 50. So again, it's going to be your call on that one. Now, if like nine out of 10 of the, all the carnivore doctors were like, no, don't do coffee. I'd probably start taking more of a look, but I'm not stressed about stuff like that. If you got to hold on to coffee, fine. You know, I mean, if you're holding on to cheese, fine. If you're holding on to, you know, like your heavy cream and sour cream, like your dairy type carnivore stuff. Okay. I do that from time to time too, but don't be holding on to like anything pasta or bread or, you know, those type of things. Anyways, I could talk about this stuff all night. I just want to give you guys my daily, um, had a, a pretty good poop. Um, what was it? Yes. Last night had a pretty good poop last night. And again, they're normal. Okay. So for those of you that's been scared that you're not going to have normal poops in the future. And remember, I don't have a gallbladder. That's another thing I try to remind people. I've been doing this and I don't have a gallbladder. All right. So anyways, keep that in mind, guys. And we will see you tomorrow as we inch ever so closely to the six month mark. And we will see where we're at after a half of a year doing. I can't believe that already. I can't believe it's coming up on like a six month kind of mark. That is crazy to me. But we're almost there. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Wait. No. Did I just mess up? It's not a six month mark, is it? It's a five month mark. Damn. So never mind everything I said. I'm not going to refilm this video. But forget everything I said. It's a five month, but still five months, five months. That's a lot. That's a lot. 150 days. And then the 180 day will be our six month mark. All right. I was going to say, because that almost didn't seem right to me. But anyways. All right, guys. Bye.